Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuit analysis. Solve the problem number two. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4 along with one independent current source IS. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source, especially a voltage controlled voltage source. The question now is to calculate the current gain IO over IS. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply Kirchhoff's laws to solve this problem. First, let's select arbitrarily currents for each branch to facilitate the analysis. And I will consider I1 is the current through the resistor R1 and I2 is the current through the resistor R2. By applying Kirchhoff's current law at node A, we can write IS is equal to I1 plus I2, and I will call this equation 1. Let's move on now to Kirchhoff's voltage law, but first we need to define the different loops we are going to use. And I will consider this is loop 1 and this is, is loop 2. Let's start first with loop 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 1, we can write negative R1 I1 plus R2 I2 minus 9 VO is equal to 0. According to Ohm's law, VO is equal to R1 I1. If we replace VO with its expression in the first equation, we obtain negative R1 I1 plus R2 I2 minus 9 R1 I1 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 10 R1 I1 plus R2 I2 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 2. Let's move on now to loop 2. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 2, we can write 9 VO plus R3 plus R4 IO is equal to 0. If we replace VO with its expression, we obtain 9 R1 I1 plus R3 plus R4 IO is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 3. From equation 1, we can write I1 is equal to R2 over 10 R1 I2. And I will call this equation A. By substituting a in 1, we obtain IS is equal to R2 over 10 R1 I2 plus I2. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain I2 is equal to 10 R1 IS over 10 R1 plus R2, and I will call this equation B. By substituting now B in A, we obtain I1 is equal to R2 over 10 R1 multiplying by 10 R1 IS over 10 R1 plus R2. We have here 10 R1 and 10 R1. They cancel each other. That means I1 is equal to R2 IS over 10 R1 plus R2. And I will call this equation C. We have now I1 is expressed in terms of IS and we ha we have the equation 3 which is 9R1 I1 plus R2 plus R4 IO is equal to 0. By substituting C in 3 we obtain 9R1 multiplying by R2, uh, R2 IS over 10R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 IO is equal to 0. That means IO over IS is equal to negative 9R1 R2 over R3 plus R4 multiplying by 10 R1 plus R2. And here we obtain the current gain IO over IS. Let's move on now to numerical application. This, those are the values of the resistor R1 through R4. 
by replacing the resistors value uh, the numerical value of the resistor in the the gain expression we obtain negative 9 multiplying by 75 multiplying by 50 over 60 plus 90 multiplying by 750 plus 50 finally we obtain io over is is equal to negative 33750 over 120000 that means finally io over is is equal to negative 0 0.2815 to verify that, I, ta I take two value of IS, IS 2 amps and IS 5 amps. For IS is equal to 2 amps, we found IO is equal to negative 562.5 milliamps. And for IS is equal to 5 amps, we obtain negative 1.4075 amps. After completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here our circuit drawn in SPICE simulator. This is, is the independent current source IS, the resistor R1 through R4, and the voltage controlled voltage source. First, I will take in, uh, I, uh, the value of IS 2 amps and I will come here, I will change the value of IS 2 amps, I go to analysis, this say analysis, calculate nodal voltages. The current IO is equal to negative 562.5 milliamps is the same value we have done by calculation. Let's change now IS to 5 amps. I will go again to analysis, this uh, analysis, calculate nodal voltage. And we can see here that IO is equal to negative 1.41 amps, is almost the same value we have done uh, by calculation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Take care and bye bye.